Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMatch. Really interesting exponential equation today. We have 27 to the x equals to 1 over x and we need to find our x of course in this interesting exponential equation. General method to solve it, it is a, a really complicated. We need to use a lambda w function right here, but I want to show you a real quick and really good trick how can we easily how can we easily solve it. First of all, as you can see right here, we have 27 to the power x. And it's really good to raise both sides to the power 1 over x. So let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. If we raise this, we will have 27 to the power x raised to the power 1 over x. And right here on the right hand side, 1 over x raised to the power 1 over x. So we just raise both sides to the power 1 over x. As you can see, nothing hard, just raise both sides. But why this method, why this trick is really good in our case? Because take a look closely on the left hand side. This is the next situation. This is a situation like a to the power x raised to the power y. It will be equal to a to the power x times y. So this is the rule that we need. This rule we need right here on the left hand side because we need to multiply our powers, this one and this one, we need to multiply it. But what we will have, why trick is really good? 27 to the power x times 1 over x equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. So take it closely, x times 1 over x equal to, equal to 1. So as a result we will have on the left hand side only our 27 equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. So as you can see we just simplified this a little bit. So on the left hand side this is our constant 27, so it's it's really good. On the right hand side we have 1 over x to the power 1 over x, which signals us that we have same base and same exponent. And it's really good and it's really good you to see that same base, same exponent. But on the left hand side we have a really good number. This is not like a prime number, so we can express this 27. So let's express this 27. How can we express this? We can express this as 3 times 9, which is not good for us. We can express this as this 9 as 3 times 3 and this 3 from here. So as you can see, 3 times 3 times 3, we will have 3 cube, same base and same exponent. And let's write our right hand side 1 over x to the power 1 over x. So right now, as you can see, same base and same exponent, right here same base, same exponent, and right here same base and same exponent as well. So as you can see, one and only way that this equation works is when base equal to base, this base equal to this base on the right hand side, and this exponent, this power equal to this power. But both elements are the same, so 3 equal to 1 over x as, as powers and 3 equal to 1 over x as a base, so we'll have same equations, 3 equal to 1 over x. And from here x equal to, using cross multiplying, we will have x equal to 1, x equal to 1 third. This is our, this is our answer. Let's check it, because this is not like a general method, this is a, a tricky method right here, so let's check it. 27 to the power 1 third equal to 1 over 1 over 3. So right here, as you can see, this 3 goes right here in our denominator, so we will have 3 on the right hand side, and on the left hand side, 27 to the power 1 third, this is the same as cube's root of 27, which is equal to 3. So 3 equal to 3. Equal to three. So our root is, is good for us. Moreover, we can start with the graph methods. If we draw a little graph right here real quick, we will have 27 to the power x, this is increasing exponential function right here, and 1 over x. Right here one, one line and right here, I write on the right here because in this part this exponential function does not exist, so we will have only one point of intersection which signals us that this will be equal to one third. But what about more roots? As you can see this grows right here because with x grows to infinity this exponential function grows to plus infinity as well. And right here this goes closely and closely to this, to this x is y and right here closely to this x is x, but does not intersect, of course, but closely and closely. So this is one and only root if you're talking about if you're talking about real numbers. So if you still have any question, write a question in comment, it will be written to read it. And of course, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.